What are you saying? Have a holly roll sneezing oh. Christmas. Yeah. And if you didn't, I hope you sneeze. Go. I am excited to share some details with you from the fun weekend we just had. It was very festive. We also had a party that we got to go to and had a soccer game, quite a few things. And so I'm just reflecting on that. I was away from the house when it was time for my Sunday basket routine. So I'm going to be going through the papers and reflecting on the fun weekend we had. So on Friday, once the kids were done with school, we definitely hit the ground running. First off, I take all of their paperwork out of their bags. I ask them to, but uh, if they don't, I do it. And then I put it in my Sunday basket in the back and then I go through it when it's Sunday. So here it is, Sunday, and I'm going through it. The boys walk home from school, they came in. That was really cute to see how excited they were for the weekend and we had a few things in store for them really but on friday it was pretty low-key we of course had our meal time can someone please on, turn on the christmas tree because i can't make kaputs without the christmas tree <laughs> bedtime love you buddy love you morning. and then i started on some of the diys that i'm going to be doing in an upcoming video <laughs> That will be pretty interesting, by the way. I'm going to be doing kind of a trash to treasure thing, and I'm going to be asking you if these are things that you would keep or toss. They're made out of paper and cardboard, so like, you never know, right? But I think some of them are worth it. Oh, I got the kids bucket list there. Put that in. We've actually been talking about a few of the things that we are going to do this upcoming season. So that is, always exciting things to look forward to the kids have been kind of making out a list of experiences that they are looking forward to while i continue to go through the papers i am going to have you head over and listen to the voiceover just to give you an idea of what the weekend was like and maybe some inspo for family fun reminiscing on saturday that was interesting i was wanting this so that i could um, clean up our son's tank for his axolotl. So I'm gonna show you. Um, you can't have the Mr. Payne brand. You have to have a multi-purpose eraser because, oh, this is so terrible, I cannot even. Um, so we've got these hard water lines here. Hi, bud. And, oh my goodness, you're so cute. If he could just have a clean tank, poor guy. So I need to clean out the debris from feeding him. Oh, hi, guy. <laughs> this is Axel, our axolotl. The magic erase is supposed to, as long as you don't do the name brand again, you can go along and get all of the hard water lines. So I'm gonna to try to do that, and then we'll add additional water once I have properly cleaned the tank, but goodness sakes. We've like never had anything to use yet. I actually had to update the software on my phone, on my laptop, and get things backed up. Never exciting. Hot salami sandwich with provolone cheese, ah! <laughs> Sis, you still need to brush your hair. And then um, we had Sebastian's soccer game in the afternoon. As crazy as it is, I like to do my makeup in the car. I just, I just do. I kind of always have. I like that there's a close up mirror. It's right above me. And I can just kind of knock it out really quick, like before I go somewhere. So then I know that I will be all set. Okay, it's crazy. I don't know. May I also just point out how I hardly have anything for lashes. You see this? I'm going to show tomorrow how I put on lashes for the week. This is, I mean, they're like a whisper. I don't even know if you can see. Are they like translucent? Because my lashes have depigmented due to vitiligo. So there's that. Dad, why is there time on that thing? That's how much time There you go. 
then my family is on this kick with a 50 mile challenge this month. It's walk, bike, or ride, as long as it is equivalent. So anyway, we like to get our steps in while we are at Sebastian's indoor soccer games. You'll see Ryan and I getting our steps in for show. She get tired? <laughs> She's tired. Cramp. <laughs> Hey buddy, good job. Are you holding doors for people? That was nice. We're gonna go over to the furniture mall and check out some stuff. Sound good? Let's go These things go faster after you start going. <laughs> sure, babe. There you go. Good job. You got it. Are you a little bit too big for this or no? No. It does seem to work for you. Look, guys. What is this? It's, Ice cream It's cookies. a special vanilla custard. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why are stairs? It's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> you might be too little for this chair. <laughs> the soccer game Ryan was in full-on pasta mode so he donned his apron he was getting all ready and he was going to make capoletti I really should have him tell you about them so let's go can you tell me about the origins of caplets or capoletti I don't know if I know but they are from the north of Italy and in our family, my grandmother, her family was from Reggio Emilia in the north. And when they moved to Pittsburgh, the women in the town used to make them. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, Capoletti is a very treasured family experience and a rare experience of that. So it's only been something that um, I personally have only had them from Ryan's great aunt. And then uh, Ryan has made them a couple of times. That's going to be an annual tradition. He's going to make those with the kids, which is really special. So they're actually making them this weekend and next weekend. And then the third weekend, they're going to be making ravioli. I will get in on some of it as long as my head cold resolves. I do not, okay, now I talk about it and like it acts up, right? Yeah, first recipe, if we need to cook. make the dough over there, let's cook, baby. We put them in a, uh, 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 in a pan to cook. Mm -hmm. After we finish um, putting them on the table, yeah. Over here we get a package from Ryan's aunt and uncle. This is exciting. Okay, is this a mom thing or what? I am stealing away time in my bedroom so that I can eat something out of our gift basket. Don't dry your hands with the towel. Those are yours. Tie them up. I love the big fat one, so pinch them. Do you remember how to time? Let me show you. Take one, pull it. Yeah. And then loop them across each other like this. Can you do that? You need to stretch it yeah, out. Stretch it a little bit, and then you tuck it in. How do I do? Oh, no, I was trying to do that. How's it going, bud? Yeah. Uh. Okay. Put this one at the table. Good job. So eat some oil pasta. That's what you made? Yeah. How is it? Good. What, you're kind of tired? No, I'm hungry. Oh, you're still hungry. Okay. Well, gobble, gobble. Never mind how dusty it is up here. It's time for me to get my slippers out. 
Oh, and I should probably get my warm robes too. After I had one of my babies, my sisters gave me this beautiful robe. And so I need to put that away and so that I can get out my thicker robes. And then I'm also putting away some house slippers that are also not going to keep my feet warm. Hold the, the thing that's inside of it. Okay, stop. I'm gonna try this. Okay, now put it's it so in there. So true, especially for your wife. And pull it through. Okay, let's see what these are gonna look like. You think it might work? What do you think? Man, nice job, Miller. We're cruising. Yeah, we cruising. Right, you're unsure? Unsure. About my technique here? Unsure. Yeah, we cruising. I'm saying hi with this. Why am I on a camera? Oh, hi guys. Now why am I on a camera? Cause you guys don't know. Then on Sunday morning, the kids have faith formation. <laughs> there's only one step. No, there's, there's two. Milan, why do you love Sundays? Because I'm a son. <laughs> yeah, I am. No. So we take them to church, and then during that time, it is really pretty special because Ryan has agreed to go with me on a little coffee date, just the two of us. We go to a local coffee shop, and just kind of chat about you know what the plan is for the week or at this time we were talking about our christmas budget and what we still needed to get for gifts that sort of thing so it's kind of a nice like powwow and we can kind of make sure that we're on the same page with stuff also i don't know it's just it just feels special what did you take my picture it's cute. just like you had church, we came home, I fed the kids, give it a little taste. Now let's, let me see if it's going to be good Okay. For all those hearts. How many hearts? Six. Uh, Ryan had priorities with Steelers game, so he went over and watched that with his family. Oh. Your dad's gonna love those, huh? Yep. <laughs> Early Christmas. Go team. Go <laughs> I got a couple more things done for the DIYs that I'm working on. Got the kids set up on some projects. Cheese. Oh my goodness, you guys. Yeah. You all need a snack right now? Yeah. yeah. Think I waited long enough? <laughs> I don't have my decor figured out over here, but this thing is awfully cute. Colors seem to go, so I gotta figure out something, something, something. And we had our party to go to. We went there for a couple of hours. That was so fun. They love Rainbow of the Heartland. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> nice. I'm ready. Let me see. like pulling up and seeing these. They're so cute. I also get excited when I see this. 
brings us to nowish. After this, then it's going to be straight up to get the kids ready for bed and do the whole rigmarole. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that pretty much does it. It was an incredible weekend. Today was particularly fun to be able to go and see old friends, have the kids play. They love the Rainbow Play Place. We have a lot of fun holiday things planned. That's the weekend in our lives.